First off, let me say, for any C any Everett Silvertip fan to come across this video, you got your wish. Ever since you joined the Western Hockey League, you have wanted this playoff series. <laughs> You've been dying for this playoff series. Rightly so, because you're a brand new team, and the Seattle Thunderbirds are the closest team compared to where you play. And now, 12, 13 years, something along those lines, this series is finally going to happen. It's finally going to happen. The Seattle Thunderbirds, the original junior hockey league team, is going to play the upstart Everett Silvertips, the younger brother. A very good younger brother. Now, before I continue, I know that not um, not all of the sports that I cover and I talk with on YouTube get a lot of views. I mean, I don't vlog as much as I used to, uh, which is fine. Um, when I go to games and I put together videos of games and my experiences at games, those have a tendency to do a little bit better compared to me just talking on camera. And the Seattle Thunderbirds are one of those teams that – when I do talk about them, they don't get a lot of views. I've done two of them. I did it during the playoffs last year when the uh, T-Birds played the Kelowna Rockets. Didn't get a lot of views. I will say this, though. If you are a hockey fan and you live in Western Washington and you live anywhere between Everett and Kent, Everett's over there north and Kent is there down there south. If you live in the vicinity of that area, this area, you got to get yourself to a game. <laughs> you have got to get yourself to a game. It doesn't matter if you're a Canucks fan uh, or whoever NHL team that you go to. It doesn't matter if you're a Portland Winterhawks fan. Uh, well, actually, you might want to drive to see Portland Winterhawks because they have home ice advantage on the weekend. But uh, it doesn't matter if you're a Winterhawks fan, Tri-City Americans fan, Spokane Chiefs. Uh, you've got to get yourself to one of these games, this best of seven series, whether it be in Everett or Kent, you got to get there because this series is going to be arguably the most intense playoff series. The Seattle Thunderbirds have played in about in probably over a decade. The last time there was this, whoa, Hey, the T-Birds are, you know, this could be a pretty good playoff series. Got to go back to 2005-2006 year. T-Birds played the Portland Winterhawks. It's the last time they played the Portland Winterhawks. And Portland ended up winning in seven games thanks to a goal by uh, Brandon Dubinsky. If you're an NHL fan, you should know that name. Um, as far as Everett goes, I don't know how big this playoff series will be for them. Uh I want to say this will probably be the biggest playoff series they've played or they will play since they lost to the Vancouver Giants in the conference finals. Uh, I forgot the year it was, but it was the year that Everett was one of the best teams in the league and they came up short against the Vancouver Giants. Um, but I could be wrong. If you're a Silver Tip fan, Jude Steeds 87. Um, if you're a Silver Tip fan, you can put that below. This rivalry has grown into one of the largest local rivalries that I've ever seen. I mean, if you want local rivalries, I mean, there are some rivalries with high schools around Seattle. I mean, Franklin Garfield is a prime example. Um, you know, if you know, so there are local rivalries here, but this one has turned into one of the, some of the biggest that I've ever seen. And part of it is, is because Everett is so close to Seattle. Now granted the Seattle Thunderbirds play in Kent, but you can basically, you know, get in your car, drive to either arena, go see the game, 
come back and still have time to do stuff later on that night. That's how close these two teams are. I live in Seattle. Everett is about 45 minutes that way. Kent is about 45 minutes, depending on traffic, that way. Sometimes you can get to Kent in 30 minutes. Heck, sometimes you can get to Everett in 30 minutes. I mean, that's how close these two teams are. The fans are going to be into it big time. Everett is going to be ringing their cowbells until their arms fall off. Seattle's going to scream Everett sucks when the Everett Silver Tips take the ice and when we score goals against you guys until their lungs burst. There's going to be partying in the stands. I would not be surprised if there were a couple of fights uh, in the stands as well. That's how intense this series is going to be. So if you are a hockey fan, get your rear to Comcast Arena in Everett or Showwear Center in Kent. The games, the games will start next weekend depending on the outcome of uh, tonight's regular season finale. Now, this is why I'm doing this video early and not on, and on the eve of March Madness. Each team, the T-Birds and the Silvertips, have one more game to play. And it's going to determine who has home ice advantage. Tips are playing Portland. The T-Birds are playing the Tri-City Americans. For those of you who do not know, Tri-City plays in Kennewick, Washington, which is, south e which is in the southeastern part of the state. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking during this day, you know, excited for the selection show, and then all of a sudden a thought occurs to me. There is no home ice advantage. <laughs> there is no home. There is not going to be home ice advantage. The only difference when it comes to home ice advantage is whether or not you'll hear people yell Everett sucks in Kent or cowbells will, will be rung from the beginning of the game to the end of the game because that's Everett's thing. Okay, there is no home ice advantage. That's how close these two teams are. <laughs> There is no excuse. There is absolutely no excuse whatsoever why T-Bird fans cannot travel to Everett and Everett fans cannot travel to Kent. There is no excuse whatsoever. So, if you are looking for a big-time rivalry, excuse me, a big-time local rivalry, this is it. If you get an opportunity to watch some of the games on WHL.ca, do it. You get an opportunity to get some tickets and go to one of the games, do it. This will be a hard-fought series. I don't know what will happen afterward. If the T-Birds win, we'll go from there. Silver Tips win, we'll go from there. But basically, as of right now, this is, this is our series. This is our championship round. This is the series that Silver Tip fans have been waiting for to get their crack at the old school Seattle Thunderbirds. This is this is their opportunity. Now, as far as how T-Bird fans think, I'm pretty sure if you talk to the average T-Bird fan, they are excited about this playoff series. They've wanted this to happen for a while as well. I'm not one of those fans. And the reason why is because with the way with the exception of the Seattle Seahawks, the defending Super Bowl champions. Oh my god, it's still it's still great to say. Um Basically, my teams have been down in the dumps lately. I mean, the the the, the T-Birds uh, ended a streak last season where they missed the playoffs three years in a row. Uh, and for junior hockey, that's incredibly bad. I've explained that later, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, I mean, I've explained that earlier, so I'm not so so that's done. Uh, you know, the Seattle Storm keep collapsing in the playoffs. The Sounders keep collapsing in the playoffs. The Mariners can't do jack squat. Uh, my Central Washington football team is starting to go through a rebuilding process. Um, so there are, for the most part, all of my teams have been struggling lately. And if you look at the history between Seattle and Everett, Seattle, Everett has a lot of stuff they have against Seattle. They do. A division championship, a Western Conference championship in their first year. Three, three division titles in their first four years. One of the few teams in the WHL who have never missed the playoffs in franchise history. Oh, and by the way, Everett actually helped 
the Seattle Thunderbirds missed the playoffs in their first year, which was the first time the Thunderbirds missed the playoffs in franchise history. Zach Hamill's between the legs shot. Oh God, that one, that one hurt. I, I, I still remember where I was. I was, I was listening to the game online. I, I think I was folding laundry and I still can remember between the legs. Oh God, <laughs> that one hurt. Um, if you go up on YouTube, there is a pile of fights between the T-Birds and Silverton players. Um, and uh, if you also look at my channel last year, there's the Josh Winquist overtime game-winning goal against Brandon Glover, the Seattle goaltender. So as you can see, I am very nervous for this series. Historically, they're ever, historically, Everett's had our number. It's only been until recently when the teams have been like this. For the most part, Everett has been that upstart expansion team and I give them a lot of credit. They built uh, the organization has built a a great a great loyal fan base there. Um, you know they they've had uh, a lot. Uh, they they always draft well. They have great goaltending. Uh, they've had a history of having good goaltending, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, you know they've had. I mean they had and already in their brief ten years they've already had a, a handful of players drafted from the NHL and are either in NHL camps or American Hockey League teams. And there's been a select few who have had a decent uh, NHL career. I mean, heck, Zach Hamill, I don't even know if he's still playing in the NHL, but at least his name is on the Stanley Cup with the Boston Bruins. <laughs> That's why I'm nervous for this series. Because... It just I feel I feel something bad's gonna happen for the T Birds. I just I just do. <laughs> um, but now since we've talked about the rivalry, let's uh, talk about the actual series. Um, the T Birds have had their best year in over a decade, which is great. I mean, it's it's really nice to have March come around and not have to worry about missing the playoffs. To deal with that three years in a row, I mean, that's slight stressful. Again, in the Western Conference of the Western Hockey League, 10 teams in the Western Conference, eight of them go to the playoffs. So you have to be incredibly bad to miss the playoff playoffs. This year, Prince George Cougars and the Kamloops Blazers are those teams. Before that, the T-Birds were that team three years in a row until last year. So it is nice from a T-Bird fans' perspective to actually see some competitive hockey. Been to two T-Bird games this year. One was better than the other, but they both were competitive. They did not get blown up. The T-Bird's power play is incredibly streaky. That's going to be a key in that, this series. And that is one of the reasons why we did not pull the upset against the Kelowna Rockets last year when we were up three games to none. They were the, we were the seventh seed, they were the two seed, and mathematically, it would have been the biggest upset in league's history due to the point differential. Um, but we couldn't score on the power play. We didn't score a single power play goal in that series. One game I did go to against Everett, all of the goals came on the power play. It must, they, they have to, they have to get that power play, power play going. Taryn Cozen, our new goaltender, has to play like the way he played when he was traded from Kamloops to Seattle. Because he's got a beast in Austin Lotz for the Everett Silvertips across the ring from him. Austin Lotz, Lotz I don't know if he's going to be the next big NHL goaltender like Carey Price from the Montreal Canadiens, former Tri-City American. But Austin Lotz is a beast. He's very good for his age. Very good. So, Cozen is going to have to play toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lotz. And that's not going to be easy. Brandon Glover, who did okay for the Thunderbirds, not as good as Cal Calvin Pickard. But even he had a difficult time matching Lotz. Very difficult time. Uh, players to watch out for Everett. Uh, definitely got to go with Josh Winquist, captain of the team. 
seen I've seen him score a couple of goals against the the T Birds. Uh, for the Thunderbirds, their defenseman Shea Theodore has to uh, has to continue to play well. Shea Theodore is a uh, the number twenty sixth overall draft pick from last year's NHL draft, so you probably will see him depending on whether or not he gets hurt or not. Hopefully, he doesn't. He got drafted by the Anaheim Ducks, and he's one of the leading scoring defensemen in the league. He's got to do well. Robert Litzberg, uh, Alexander Delnoff has to has to find the back of the net. Whoever scores first in this in every game, it, every every first goal is going to be huge. Every first goal is going to be huge. Um. So um, I do see the Silver Tips winning the series, though. I do. And I'm not one of those fans that are like, oh, well, I'm just picking the other team because I, I, say, I, you know, I don't want to jinx my team. No, I do think the Silver Tips will win the series. I'm not going to you know, toss in the hat, toss in the towel yet. I think it's going to go six games. I think it's going to be hard fought. Wouldn't be surprised if it went to seven games. Wouldn't be surprised if the seventh game went into overtime. But the Tips have won nine in a row. They were originally supposed to get the sixth seed. They've climbed up to, at worst, the fifth seed, at best, the fourth seed. And the T-Birds have struggled ever since they've clinched the playoff berth. They just have not played well. Uh, they've had a couple of highlights against Portland, a couple of highlights against Everett here and there since clinching the playoffs. But when you start losing to teams that are out of the WHL playoff picture, that's when you start to get concerned. So that is the reason why one team is going like this, the other team is going like this. And unfortunately, for my sake, it's the Thunderbirds. But I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. And uh, I'm looking forward to a fun series. I will be listening to every game on the radio. I'm planning to go to at least one game. And uh, definitely will. Got to go with my buddy Jude Steves. You wanted this, man. For those of you who do not know who Jude Steves 87 is, he's actually Canuck. He was actually in the previous video. And, uh, yeah, I hope that uh, T-Birds win. But either way, if T-Birds win, Tips win, it's going to be a fun, intense series. So we'll see you all later. Go T-Birds. I will recap each game, unlike last year, when I said I would, and then I ended up not. I will definitely try to recap every game of this playoff series for you guys. Go Birds. And to all you Silver Tip fans out there, I know you're a rival. I would not say this to Portland. But since you are kind of our younger brother, may the best team win. Go Birds.